There's a couple of nice little tweaks to working with brushes and one for working with color that I've already taken advantage of in the short time I've been using this update because it makes things a lot more accessible. A lot of people when they make brushes end up defining a variety of brushes and usually when you do, that brush is right down at the bottom of the brushes panel. Now it will remember the most recently used brushes. So it would look like this if I took my brush tool. Now when I go to the brush picker, you can see here's the brushes I use most recently. So previously, like I said, I would have defined a brush, it would appear down here somewhere, but now that brush, as soon as I actually use it for some purpose, now it goes to the leftmost slot. So at a very quick glance, I can say which were the brushes I was working with. Particularly useful when you're trying to switch between a couple of brushes. So that's the first nice little change. The second one is actually a little more subtle, but it's also very nice, and that is there's a lot of preset brushes in here that of course have particular settings. So if I go to the brush panel, you can see, well, this brush has various options available to it, like angle jitter and scattering. I'll just make a couple of minor little changes here. Maybe I'll also add some texture, pick some texture and multiply it. So now we're, we've taken an existing preset and modified it. Well, when I go back to the brush preset, the fact that it's highlighted in orange tells me this was an existing preset that you have made some change to. So that might prompt me to say, you know what, that would make sense then for me to make a new preset because I want to preserve this one and add a new preset based on the new changes. So if I go to the new preset button, I can give it some name that makes sense to me. And now there it is at the bottom as before. Once I've used it, now in either one, either here, you can see if I use, take advantage of tooltips, it'll tell me that's the one that I saved and it will also appear under here. The other thing that's a little subtle change, personally a long time ago, I changed my keyboard shortcut so I could just press letter P to pop open the color picker because I like to have not only the big visual area but also numerically the way to choose a color if I need to. Well, one of the things that's been added is a, a new additional option in color. We used to have a series of choices like H, HSB size and RSB. Now we have this hue cube, which is the same as you would see in the color picker. So now you can very quickly just choose a color visually if you want, really wanted to and you wanted the world's biggest color thing, you could make this a whole lot bigger if you really chose to. I personally wouldn't. I would just leave it in here the way it is. And if necessary, you want to choose a color visually, that's a quick way to do it very, very easily.